What's up guys, I'm Nate and today's update day. Made some good visual progress on the truck over the last couple of weeks and uh, things are starting to come together. So check it out. Let's start over here with driver's side. So the driver's side is uh, started to get sheeted. It's kind of tight in here now. So this is the um, kind of the sub base of all the walls and everything. This is all gonna be covered up, but this adds a little shear strength and uh, also acts as a uh, heat transfer. What's that called? Thermal break. There we go. Wood is a terrible conductor of heat. So with a steel frame, you wanna make sure you have a good thermal break, which we do with wood. Uh, the front has also been sheeted. Still waiting on the passenger side for some stuff I'll show you and the rear. In the rear back here, uh, I'm going to put some gussets up in these corners with some thread in uh, eye rings for tying some stuff down, which I will show you later. And what else did we do? You can see um, this is where the slide out deck comes out. These aren't finished and that isn't all the way it goes out. I'm going to have some wood decking that gets laid across here up to even with that and there's three panels one under the door one there and one here on the rear these come out just a little over six feet to make an outside deck and uh, the stairs attached to this one over here either on the front or on this side and then we'll also have a stair attachment on this side back here so you can enter from back here if you want um so a couple little things to tie up there but you know nothing super crazy I uh, did get my fridge in. That is kind of where it goes. Um, picked that up and put it in yesterday. Basic residential fridge. Um, it's got an inverter compressor, so super efficient. Basically the same style of compressor that is in the chest freezers, chest refrigerators, all that stuff. But I want something a little bigger because I like to have lots of room in the fridge. Um, part of the subfloor is in. This has all been insulated, glued, and screwed. On top of this is going our um, radiant floor heating and then another layer of flooring for the finish. Um, there's four inches of foam insulation in here uh, plus the wood. So again, excellent thermal break there. These sides I have not finished yet. Um, this bay is going to be for a lot of wiring, some plumbing, that kind of stuff over here. I've got toilet over there shower in the corner so these will all get done as we kind of move forward nice big four and a half foot access door here uh still need to sheet the roof you know and cut in for all the windows and vents ac all that fun stuff so a little bit of a project to go still there but that is kind of where we're at for now um I'm gonna do some welding this morning and get some stuff wrapped up and then continue on with the sheet. This is what the side looks like now. This is the driver's side. So got to trim the top off and trim the bottom. So I'm going to route both of those off after lunch. A lot of plywood. Everything's glued and screwed. So it shouldn't rattle, it shouldn't move. It's got a lot of extra shear strength from this plywood. Show you the inside here. getting there. Here's insulation. It's going to go in these and that. It's going to go over the top.
Those gussets are in. With the eyelets, I can kind of see that one a little better, maybe. I don't know. Uh, bring over this one. So here is a thread in eyelet. Put these gussets in, welded the uh, weld through fitting. These gussets are welded both sides in and out. I just ground down all the other welds on the outside and the inside so that they are flush. But these are um, 7 8 inch shank eyelets. Um, those are for mounting. I'll show you guys later once this is all done what those are mounted for. I've got one over there, one over here just on the outside of my big back kitchen window. So next up is to put the extra door support in for my door frame and uh, get that going and then I can sheet the sides. So anyway, I'm gonna do that next. I'll show you guys what that looks like when it's done. Door frame is in right there. So I ended up narrowing the doorway a little bit to fit the door that we got. My plan was to build a big door went from here to here. And yeah, it just didn't work out. Um, between windows and door costs and all that, it was gonna be prohibitively expensive. So I did find an RV door all insulated with a window, shade, door lock, screen, uh, the hold hinges, all that stuff for like 300 bucks, brand new. Um, but it's just a little narrower than I planned. So anyway, this is for the um, hinge side, obviously goes over here. Deadbolts go over here. And uh, this is the old door frame. And then this is the support for the bed. And a lot of people are like, why do you have three studs right there? So that's what that's for, that for, and the new one. Um, I still need to do a cross piece up here somewhere where the top of the door is gonna be. But before I put that in, I wanna make sure I get my floor height right and my threshold right and all that fun stuff. So that's pretty much it for today. I don't think I'm gonna do much else. It's lunchtime, I take a break, see if I come back. Uh, never know, it's Saturday. So that's it, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon, later.